We're on in the Casa Popeno with Professor Vernon Smith, who is uh, kind enough to share some time with us. Uh, welcome, Professor Smith, to Guatemala, Universidad Francisco Marroquín, and the Casa Popeno. Well, thank you, Fritz. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, we've had a couple of days uh, where we've had opportunity to uh, uh, study many things with you, and I thought we'd share uh, some basic concepts to start with, uh, with our audience. Uh, one question is, uh, what is the role of experimental economics in uh, theory? Do um, experiments help us to discover principles in theory, confirm theory? What, what position, what place would you give experimental economics in economic theory? Well, I think there's uh, two roles for experiment in connection with theory. And w one role is to ask, well, what are the, the observable implications of a, of a theory, like uh, a, an, an auction market with particular rules for running the auction. Uh, another kind of, of use of experiment is to ex explore human behavior in situations that have not been actually been modeled, or at least they haven't been modeled uh, adequately. And there's always room for that when you're testing a theory, because most of our theory in economics has to do with static equilibria. And, and theory is, economic theory is not very good when it comes to describing how it is that individuals might go from wherever they start to end in something that you could call an equilibrium. That whole, uh, there's a dynamic process there that's not well modeled, and I think in part because we haven't had the kind of detailed data that you can get from, from an experiment. Uh, it's a challenge. It's a very, it's a big challenge to theory, to theory, uh, to model the individual and the way in which he changes what he does over time in response to the information that he gets, and it's it's a very considerable uh, challenge, and that's why uh, it it hasn't been, I think, done very satisfactorily. Do you think um, experimental, the experimental, economic, experimental economics will be developed or has applications or uses as a uh, forecasting tool or a predictive tool? Well, th yes, in the sense that there are, there are kinds of of explorations that have come out of laboratory experiments that are out there now in the field. Actually, actually, in some ways, they combine laboratory and field. And, I'm, and, and what I'm thinking about is what is called information markets. Uh, the experimentalists who pioneered this, that work, is that the, they are at the University of Iowa. There was a uh, uh, Forsyth, uh, Berg, Joyce Berg, several other people at, at the University of Iowa uh, pioneered the first, what was at the time called the Iowa presidential stock market. And their idea was let's have people make a market, make basically trade shares on the outcome of a political contest. And so the outcomes are, not, are outside the laboratory, but the people that are recruited, and it wasn't just to a, they did this online. They recruited people and, and, they, and they trade online. They weren't just in a, a, a laboratory room at, at the University of Iowa. Um, 
And they had a, the first experiment, they had a few hundred uh, participants, mostly from the University of Iowa community. Uh, and they made a market in the 1988 presidential uh, contest. And that was the beginning of what became known as information markets. And what this market does essentially is aggregate the beliefs and information that people have about the outcomes of that political contest. Um, now that start, it, then it became known as the Iowa electronic market because it was no longer restricted to presidential outcomes. It was all kinds of political contests or a referendum. It, wouldn't, it could be a California referendum uh, where people on uh, voting up and down or down on some maybe new bond issue or something like that. That's something you people could could uh, make a market in the outcome, and, and each person is motivated to do his best to figure out what's going to happen because he can, he, he'll do better in terms of his own, uh, his, his reward. And so now that has become, now has gone out, and the, there are businesses now that do that. Uh, there's a, a, a market that tries to anticipate and predict uh, how well new films are going to do. Uh, and so people make out market. And, and you think about that. See, markets are, are really mechanisms for aggregating dispersed information in a way where every participant is, is, is well motivated. You know, he, he, he has a motivation to try to get it right. And, and that's been, I think, really one of the most exciting uh, uh, areas of research that's come out of experimental economics. Uh, I think that was the big, really important contribution in the 1990s. Uh, when, when that, even though it started in 1988, it became uh, matured in the 1990s, and now there's whole businesses uh, in the field that are that are making use of that. <clears throat>